Hi everyone, and welcome back to Amanda T. Hi everyone, welcome back to Amanda T. and me, and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. Okay, I, I just want to play the game. I don't have a sip of tea. You should have a sip of tea. Let's go. I'm like, let's go. I want to play. That is a sign of a good game where it's like, I can't even do an intro. Let me just go. Day eight. Not like we didn't know it was day eight, but you know. Okay, let's yank out our map real quick. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Let me put this to the edge because like the second I open it, it's going to like. Okay. So uh, we know there's drama in Foxfield because there's like the murder. Okay, so here's Foxfield to Crinkle Crag. Okay, and then Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. How far away is Crinkle Carrigs? Oh, that's the black comb. Um, and then Elgil Head, Lowick. Okay. Loic. Loic. So Loic and then Foxfield. Let's explore. Let's explore that mountain and it might not be anything. There are more important things I should be doing back at the shop. Okay. It does show mountains though, right? Like maybe here? It's got to be somewhere around here and we know that. Um, okay. Let's say okay. Let's let that fill up. We'll come back to that. Let's get our little book out. But it's got to be in that area. We are open for business. Why does he? You were wise to pledge your support to the seeds of redemption. Ooh, that comes back. Together we are stronger. Now that the Dendru has awoken, the redemption is upon us. It is a glorious time. So are these the guys that are killing witches? Our deeds will be remembered for a thousand years. Those of us who have put our faith in the woken Dendru will be saved, but we must act swiftly. We will be in touch soon. Okay, but isn't this you, like you being in touch? Here's our secret person. My mind is clouded, dark. I see and it sees me, all of me. Elder Finium is the answer, it must be. I will not forget those who help me, horticulturalist. All right. Elder Finium. The petals of this flower can be brewed to create an antidote to Dendra's miasma, a deadly poison that causes the blood to slowly turn black, eventually resulting in a painful death. It has an intoxicating scent similar to that of Solomon's scepter. Okay, let's go back. Solomon's scepter. Sweet smelling small flowers, similar, okay. Mm. 
No, nothing sweet though. And then that was originally called Elder Finia. Intoxicating scent. No. Is this the stinky one? Yeah. Let's put those with the unpleasant things down here. Sweet smell it. Oh, um, this is our new one. It has a strong, sweet aroma. Let's try it. Yeah! Elder Finium. Lark shine. Lark shine is a plant with a powerful defense mechanism. It releases stinging barbs triggered by a light touch. The pain is said to be unbearable and can last for several days. Sometimes confusingly called kidney flower, this is thought to be a reference to the kidney shaped seeds held within the spiny pods that grow in this plant. Hmm. Hmm, no. We may not have that yet either, but Elder Finium we do. Okay, between customers, let's go on a road trip because I'm sure this is totally responsible. Okay, so Foxfield, let's go. Well, it could be. Corver, Foxfield, Crinkle Crags. Let's just go to Torbor. and we'll just see what happens. Nothing. Okay. Pleasant Town. So, it's not a marked place. We know that for sure. Come back to that. Let's go have another customer. Getting some, ooh, hello with your hair. My mom was into horticulture. I found this among her things. Golden light. That's a plant, right? I'm not sure what long meg could mean, though. Is that another plant? Anyway, I thought you should have it just in case it's any help. I will collect your note. Oh. Start at long meg. Okay, we now have two clues. But I want to resolve this one first. We've already started. It's right in front, right? Like. Oh, gotta, gotta click the button first. Okay. Yeah! The magpie sees me before I see it. I do not know how long it has been watching me, but I can tell that it is interested in my movements. A strange sensation creeps over me, and I feel an urge to leave this place, but not before collecting a plant for further study, one for sorrow. Turning to leave, I see another magpie and another plant I've never seen before, two for joy. Oh, that looks similar to this guy. I wonder if they're related. Okay. And then we're going to do this one next. Customers? Ah, it's Anne Wood again. Help me. Oh no. The amulet. It can't, I can't remove it and it's drawing the life from me. A long barracoon? I think we received a page about this recently. Here we go. Citrum Crispus. It's curled leaves, okay. Um, are thought to be, oh, we, we know, no, wait, that's a barracoon. Oh, we already know Lemon Dandy. What am I doing? Um, Pumilus Prosaria. Sometimes called a witch's remedy, the long barracoon is believed to lift curses. Small leaves grow in pairs along the stems. Okay, well, let's look at our small leaves here. Small leaves, small leaves. Kind of already know what that is. All right. Which is remedy? Delicate scent. Purple turning to pink. Small delicate flowers. This one looks more similar, but I know that's not always the case. Ah, sweet. 
Thank you. Oh, you are quite welcome. Man. Not being able to take an amulet off seems bad. Caldery. The use of caldery are not well known. The uses of caldery are not well known. Some say it has applications in dark magic, but this author has found neither substance nor specifics to back up those claims. Those who worship the huntress, Arduina, place the flower as an offering to ensure a successful hunt. It grows from a thin stem with small leaves. Close her up. Put you away on a shelf. Start at Long Meg, South 3, East 2. Golden Light, South. It's my only complaint. That's I wish there was like a little cup. South, uh, Long Meg. Sorry, I know I like lean really forward when I play some of these like um, puzzle games. Rivers named Long Meg. That's T Bay, so that's not it. We didn't like to see if we. I don't think we're gonna have new entries for our map, okay? Go a little slower here. If you guys see it, I apologize. The stuff is behind. Oh, no. Well, here. Is that the wrong thing? Okay. So I think those are going to be the only ones we find. Okay, put that away. But we might use that again. a plant is it like no long barracoon yeah okay I, I, I my logic there was like might give the location, so. I don't see anything, guys. I don't even 
even see a name that has like Meg in it. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna hold on to that for now. We also don't know what that's about either, so that's fine. Good to see you, my friend. I've been on the road so long, it's hard to wonder if you were still on the other end of the letters I've been sending. I'm sorry, Amos. I'm in town for a few days, though, and I wanted to give you these before I forgot. I found them in the pocket of an overcoat that belonged to your uncle. Oh, I must threw them away, but thought the symbols on them might mean something to you. Oh, are these are... Yes! Okay. So what if we did this, that, and the star one? These don't seem to change color, which is a little disappointing. Okay. Can't put it there. Okay, um... Wait, um, do these fit together? They do. those in the archive just for now but we know they link together so I don't have to worry about the water now um, Gosforth <sighs> Devil's Night Trap this plant is known colloquially as Corpse's Friend if ingested as a seed it will cause a slow agonizing death and the plant will grow out of the body once deceased. It has a light pleasant scent not dissimilar to pine needles. Boiling the root in vinegar creates a tonic against fevers and poisons. Trimble Huff The Trimble Huff is, a traditionally, is traditionally used as decoration at weddings as it's thought to strengthen relationships. A cross section of the small cup-like flowers they generally point downwards to avoid filling with water and to allow easy access to pollinating plants. Oh, that's so cool. A briar's disc, often called a smuggler's disc, is a simple device that can be used to send coded messages. The location of the cached cargo, for example. The principle is, cunning straight, uh, is cunningly straightforward, but the code is undecipherable to prying eyes. Both parties must be in possession of a disc of identical size with the same symbols etched around its edge and a map. 
To encode a location, you would then place the disc over some name point on the map nearby and note whichever symbol is pointing to this location. It may be necessary to string multiple symbols together, but you can use this method to reach any other point on the map as required. Kendall? Is there a town called Kendall? I feel like there was. Oh, you guys are probably screaming. Well, there's Gosford. If there is a candle, there is. I feel like I'm just guessing. You know what? Let's just go to Kendall. Just because we can. I find the medicinal herbology shop off Black Hall Road. I know you, says the man behind the counter, Robert Barrow, presumably. You're the owner of Strange Horticulture. Two hours later, after a lengthy and engaging discussion covering a variety of botanical subjects, we decide on a trade. It turns out Robert is a collector of unusual fungi, and I have just the thing for head. For him. Copper Caledonian. This plant has a rejuvenation effect, but m most who have tried to benefit from its properties have come to realize it's a curse, not a blessing. Though you may appear younger, you quickly become frail and brittle. The red spores that are often seen growing on it are in fact a type of fungus themselves. Okay. Um, and it's dome-shaped. Nice. Oh! That's a good trade. <gasps> Ooh, look at all those plants. Oh, that was a good trip. Um, oh no, can I not? Am, am I out of space on my top shelf? Okay. All right, nice and tidy. So, that just leaves. Okay. Let's put that away. What else did you say? Gosford. 
Guys, I feel like we need to go to Gosforth, at the very least because we have that coin. Um, here, let's... I don't know, this is like how I'm organizing. Just like, oh, can I put this away? Yeah. Oh, that's very cool. I wonder if I can hide stuff in there. Let's go to Gosforth. I don't know if it's going to mean anything. Should not have come here. A darkness hangs over this town like an executioner's blade. I feel a rising dread in my chest. Ugh. That's not okay. Good to know. Interesting. Alright. Simone! My librarian friend. I have no idea what any of this means, but it seemed like something you might find interesting. I found it while clearing out the nook off the east wing. Thanks, Simone. Maylock's elixir. Made from the crushed petals of three distinctive plants, Baylock's elixir is a potent aid to memory, allowing those who drink it to ensure they retain important information that they will never forget. Care must be taken after drinking, however, to avoid the fate of Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after taking Baylock's and staring at a blank wall for 12 hours. Hmm. Looking at these river names, it's probably nothing, but Meat Hop is a terrible name. I don't think we've been anywhere where something was called Long Meg. that away. Golden light started along south three east two. Just take a look around Kent Mere. Just because I'm curious. I mean, we could get in like some stone circle. I mean, that could be known as an eye. So good at the top of that mountain. Let's just go here. More important things I should be doing at the shop. Okay, that was a fail. 
Okay, at least we didn't, like, have the sense of dread. Okay, let's end the day and see what our new card says. In Tibet, a noble elder stands silently watching the starry skies. A young woman alone in the world, she was taken in by the sisterhood and given a home. It was a chance for redemption, a new start. Oh, the plot thickens. All right, well, let's head out to the main menu. Alrighty, guys. Alrighty, guys, that's all for today. Um, I feel like we're less productive this time, but it's, I think it's just because we uncovered so much big stuff last time. So, alrighty, guys, as always, take care and happy sipping.